Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. It is time for the Noy Annual Christmas q and I mean, you could have did a wee bit of Rangers news, transfer news that I could have plucked for thin air, but let's make it about Christmas. Let's make it a Q&A, even though more or less every question could involve Rangers or be related to Rangers. So let's see where we're going to go with this. So we're going to kick off with the first comment. Dixie Lee Tutor says, Do you have any affection for Linfield FC, sometimes referred to the Rangers of Northern Ireland? If not, is there any other teams you have a soft spot for? Well, I mean, I know there's the whole Blue Brothers, right? That would more more or less go for, you know, Chelsea, Linfield and Rangers, those three, so to speak. I don't care about any team over here. I don't. It's not even a case of, oh, well, I don't care for any team. But if there was one team I would want to do well, it would be like, no, it's not Linfield. It's not Glen Torrin. It's not Larn Town. It's not Dundella. It's not Arts. It's not Bangor. They're all diddy teams. And yeah, Linfield have won like a lot of league titles, right? But let's be real. There's winning. If you think for all the, the other people abroad, English fans and, you know, Fans of La Liga, fans of the Bundesliga, if they think the Scottish League is tin pot, then what does that make Northern Ireland's league, man? Yeah, if you, I, I, at the same time, though, I would say this. I think you should support your local teams. And I think that goes for more people who are actually born in those countries. I think, you know, you've got people from Ireland, from Northern Ireland, who will not support any team on their island. It will, it will always be Manchester United, Liverpool, or it will be like, you know, Chelsea, Celtic, Rangers, etc. I think you always should support your teams where you're from, but at the end of the day, there's things that run deeper than just football. But uh, Declan Riley says, what is your favourite moment from being a Rangers fan? And why? I think two stick out for me, right? It's that semi-final against Leipzig, and it's also winning 55. But at the end of the day, we didn't win anything from that semi-final against Leipzig. Even though as great as the Camara goal is, it's fantastic to go 2-0, and then also the John Lundstrom goal. Um, Rangers fans, pack your bags, you're going to sunny Seville. That's an iconic line on BT Sport, but it has to be 55, and the pinpoint a moment, you know, obviously... When we won it, Celtic drew 0-0 with Dundee United. That's not exactly the, the the most sparkling moment. The entire season was fantastic, but I would go for 55 over the Europa League run. Now, if we won 1-0 in that Europa League final and Conor Goldson didn't decide to pass the blame over to Calvin Bassey and let Frankfurt score, then it would have been that Joe Aribo goal. But sadly, folks, that Joe Aribo goal meant nada. It was cancelled out, and that is... The reality there. Um, Rangers fan 1238 says, Thoughts on Scottish independence? This one right here could change the drawing board, so to speak. But to be honest, either way, right? Whether it be through the SNP or a different source to get it, it doesn't matter. The Western world has fallen. You know, Britain is not great. Scotland is not great. France, Germany, all these countries, they're all going to shite. Now, there's bigger things at play that I cannot be arsed getting into on this channel. But at the end of the day, countries that were once great, they're not great. Now, you know, being Scottish, being British, what suits Scotland more? Honestly, I, I, I'm not qualified enough to tell you. Either way, though, Scotland's not great and Britain's not great. I honestly couldn't sit here and tell you what it is, what, what would be better for Scotland as a whole. Because I think at the end of the day, you want to do what's best. And uh, it, it would be lies to say that both countries are doing great. You know, the SNP will feed you one lie and then obviously, you know, Remainers would feed you one lie. The SNP are a cancer to Scotland, make no mistake about it. And with them, they'll never get... I think the only chance to get Scottish independence was in 2014. Now, yes, I think there will be more referendums to come. There'll be some outside of our um, lifetimes, etc. But, you know... I don't think it will happen anytime soon. I think the only chance was 2014, and it didn't happen. So there's my thoughts on it. Either way, we're pish. Moving on. Declan Riley again. Who's your Rangers favourite Rangers player of all time? I answered this during the uh, the birthday one. I did. I definitely did. Um, I said Ali McCoist right now. I'll admit, never seen Ali McCoist in my lifetime because I was, I was just saying I was dead. I didn't exist when Ali McCoist was still playing for Rangers, right? But seeing you just watch... His punditry, right? He's he's the funniest pundit out there. 
hands down, I don't see who's close. His commentary's immense. You know, what he did for this football club, you know, is like second to none. And just everything, there was not like one bad thing about McCoy, <clears throat> apart from he's a pish manager, but we'll, we'll gloss over that. Because apart from that, he's fantastic and you can't dispute him, man. You, yeah, it's Ali McCoy. That's why the, the picture is uh, he, he's everything you want a person to be, Ali McCoy. He's funny, bubbly. He's fantastic without sounding like I have a man crush on Ali McCoy. And uh, let's move in. I thought, I thought he says, what does the funeral hold? I don't know what the funeral holds. I'll be dead. Uh, what does the future hold? Well, for Rangers, I'm hoping it's 56. It has to be 56. It can only be 56. Uh, well, I mean, I think, it, I don't know, this season's quite close to call. I think if we get January right, Lon and Shankland, we win the league. That's what the future holds for Rangers. What does the future hold for me? Big stacks of fucking cash. That's what the future holds. Live, think far, live big, think far, big man. So until next time, that's it. Only six comments. This, this only did get put up last night. Most people would not be commenting on my Q&A. But anyway, Merry Christmas, good night, and until next time, peace.